From Russia with love, the world's largest country, equivalent to 11% of the total world's landmass, boasts not only natural and architectural beauty, it's culturally and historically extremely rich. It's also home to many famous scientific discoveries, inventions, and even some mysteries that can't be explained. Don't believe us? See for yourself. These next videos are as unusual as they are awesome, with freaky and fabulous findings the likes of which you have never seen. 15 Unsettling Discoveries in Russia Nobody Can Explain Black Snow There's a reason why the show The Twilight Zone did so well, because people like to be disoriented in a way. There's something fun about saying the weird alternative. When you take something that you're used to and flip it on its head, there's something beautifully jarring about it. And this is the case when it comes to the Russian village that's covered in black snow. That's right, you go your whole life thinking snow is only going to be white. And then you get this. Granted, it's not real snow. We'll explain. So the thing that happens in this remote village in Russia is a coal-burning hot water plant that provides essential heating, but at the same time it sends a continual plume of black soot far into the sky and over in town. Talk about bad air quality. The residents of this town even complain about the children breathing it in. But not only that, they also play in the dirty black snow. But this is Russia, so despite those complaints from the residents, authorities haven't done anything. There is a local office that says there are plans to upgrade the filters and heating plants. Maybe that'll stop the black snowstorm. The village is in the Magadan region in the Siberian far east of Russia. And based on the images, it doesn't look like anyone would want to travel there. It almost looks like someone took a photo of a snowstorm and did some filter over it. Ironically enough, this is also where Stalin had sent political prisoners to work in forced labor. Let's just say when it comes to this town, it's not starting to look a lot like Christmas. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. What they found in Russia surprised the entire world. Some sort of ancient shipyard still housing a very strange submarine. This structural canal has steps leading down so that shipbuilders could easily access all areas of these massive vessels. And when the time is right and the sub is ready to take to water, the canal was flooded, lifting the submarine so it can maneuver out of the port. But judging from the submarine's shabby condition and the overgrowth in the canal, nobody has been here in a very long time. And that's where the mystery comes in. Why would such a huge project just be abandoned? The traditions of Russian shipbuilding have long roots and glorious history. So one of the oldest ships discovered on the territory of Russia dates back to the 5th century BC. The first decks were built in Russia in the 12th century, and organized maritime shipbuilding began at the end of the 15th century. And since then, Russia has accumulated enormous experience in the construction of ships and submarines. It's considered one of the leaders in the world's shipbuilding industry. So what's up with this unfinished sub, Russia? Why is this canal no longer in service? Share your thoughts on what you see in the comments with the hashtag Sweet Topic. <laughs> Alien Baby Lately, there's been a lot of talk about UFOs, and because of that talk, it seems like it's snowballed into a really big discussion. Every day, there seems to be more and more UFO sightings and stories coming out of the woodworks. And of course, we had to jump on this train with a story about an alien baby. So what happened with this one was that one day in the 1990s, a woman had found a strange creature lying in the woods. To this day, 20 years later, people are still debating what the humanoid or alien was. It was the summer of 1996. Located in the city of Kishtam, there occurred a crazy scene. There was a retired woman named Tamra. She was walking down the street and had something covered in a blanket. And she was talking to it. She told passersby that it was a baby but she never showed them what it was. A few people snuck a glimpse. They described it as a 20 to 25 centimeter tall humanoid. Its skin was brown, there was no hair, and it had huge eyes bulging out. Its lips were moving, but were super tiny. And that was coming out from the thing that had been squeaking noises. It was jarring, to say the least. The woman had died and left in a mystery. But since her death, people had still speculated about what it was. Could it have been radioactivity that changed the baby? Was it an alien? What do you think it could be? The Secret Chernobyl In the past couple of years, there was a popular show called Chernobyl, and it aired on HBO. It was based on an actual event that happened in Russia. 
To this day, the area is still radioactive. It was one of the biggest disasters in history when it comes to radioactivity. You can't even travel to the location without getting sick today. Needless to say, it's one of the most well-known disasters next to the Titanic and other tragic events in history. But there's also a secret Chernobyl event that was almost as similar in scale, but a little lesser known. It's called the Kishtim disaster, or sometimes referred to as the Mayak disaster. And it was a radioactive contamination accident that occurred on September 29, 1957. It was a plutonium production site for nuclear weapons and nuclear fuel reprocessing. It's considered the second worst nuclear incident. How much did it measure on the international nuclear event scale? Well, it was a six and that's pretty high. 10,000 people needed to evacuate. What happened specifically was that the disaster spread hot particles over 52,000 square kilometers. This was unfortunately where it leads to 270,000 people living. Needless to say, it was a tragedy and we hope we never have to see another one like that again. <laughs> Sinkhole City. In today's world, it feels like there are not many things that we can all agree on. The internet has made it a place where all opinions are welcome, and that can bring on a lot of conflicts. But if there's one thing that we can all agree on, it's that sinkholes suck. One city in Russia knows this all too well. It's the city of Betizniki, and it's in the Ural Mountains. It might not be located there for too long because it's slowly sinking into the earth. There are 150,000 individuals living there currently, and what happened was that after nearly a century of extraction, deep voids had been left underneath the city. This led to the ceilings of these underground caverns losing support over time. Back in 2006, when a freshwater spring began flowing into the mine, it even dissolved some of the pillars. With less support than before, the city started to descend. A big part of the residential districts became affected by the sinkhole. This led federal officials and company executives to debate whether they should relocate the entire city over by the Kama River. It's a pretty tired situation, and it'll make the next sinkhole you see seem a little less serious compared to a city that's sitting on a bunch of them. Blood Candy Next up, we move on to the world of candy, and we're not talking about your grandmother's hard candy. We're talking about Russian blood candy. Before we get into it, let's explain. In Soviet Russia, candy wasn't the snack that you think of it today. It was more substantial food. Something called gimatogian had happened to be one of the candy bars back then, and it was considered a sweet supplement. And not only that, it was used to treat anemia, malnutrition, and even fatigue. But guess what? It wasn't filled with caramel in the cookie. Inside this candy bar was filled with cow's blood. And no, it wasn't just your grandmother having this as a snack. It was generations of Russian children who grew up eating the condensed milk sweetened bar with cow's blood inside of it. I guess you can chalk it up to the phrase, don't knock it till you try it. The craziest part about this is that it's still sold today. But instead of the old ingredients that may make some people cringe, most companies use a powdered blood product. That may not sound all that more appetizing, but it's probably better than actual blood. Then again, it might be delicious. Who knows? <laughs> Melted Fortress We all know about Superman's Fortress of Solitude in the comic books, but what about a fortress that melted in Russia? Have you heard about that one? Right now it lies abandoned on the shores of the Baltic Sea. After melting, it's no longer what it used to be. Built in the 1970s by a Russian engineer, it was once described as hell on earth as the bunker had been destroyed by a wildfire that tore through the fortress in 1970. The fire was so bad that it set the fort on fire but also spread to engulf the structure below. What was underneath was napalm and it was stored in barrels. The temperatures at one point read 2000 degrees Celsius. The fire had grown so hot that even the brick walls in the ceiling were melting. This left strange high school-like formations hanging from the ceiling. It's a real charred sight to behold. Just looking at it gives spooky vibes. Are you adventurous enough to go inside of it and check it out? It might leave you feeling a little crispy. <laughs> Super Deep Borehole It's one of the world's deepest holes. It's even been called the well to hell. And when you fall into this hole, you're gonna plunge about 40,000 feet down. You'd think a hole like this would be protected, but it's only covered by a rusty Soviet metal lid. It's an artificial hole, which means someone made it. It's Russia's coal and is a super deep borehole and it was created by the Soviets under the guise of science. They did it so they can learn about what's down in the deepest parts of the earth. 
This all occurred in the 1970s when the project to drill into Earth's surface had kicked off. They didn't just want to know what was under the ground, they wanted to know more about the Earth's crust. It took about two decades and they were able to go down about seven and a half miles. And then in 1992, it all came to a stop because they reached the temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. Scientists' predictions had been way off. They thought it would be a little bit cooler. The problem doesn't just lie with sending people down there. It's also about sending equipment that could withstand that heat. And so far, no one knows how to get past it. Until then, it's a pretty deep hole. <laughs> Russian Trapped in Reality Show Sometimes reality shows can be a little bit annoying. They can also get kind of redundant, so most of us can turn them off. But for one Russian, he got trapped in a reality show. It sounds like someone's worst nightmare. When we say trapped, we don't mean that they were tied up or put in a box. It was a Russian man who had joined a boy band competition. This all took place in China and they only signed up on a whim. Once he realized how much went into it, he instantly regretted his decision. Vladislav Ivanov who was 27 at the time, had been a part-time model. He revealed that people who were producing the show had asked him if he would like to try a new life. With a question like that, he agreed, and then he soon realized that the show pretty much sucked and he wanted to leave. But then he would have been breaching his contract and paying a fine. He asked the viewers of the reality show to vote him off. He even performed poorly, hoping that they would. The whole show's concept was created originally in Korea and it shows young performers going against each other to train and then form an 11-member international boy band. This is all done by the viewers voting. Unfortunately for him, no one voted him off until the finals. But hey, at least they got voted off eventually. He may have been the first ever person to be happy to be voted off of a reality show. <laughs> Mosquito Tornado Tornadoes are scary. They even made movies out of them as the main villains. Who could forget Sharknado? Well, in the family of scary tornadoes comes a new one, and this one's called a mosquito tornado. You heard us right, if mosquitoes and tornadoes weren't bad enough, now they're combined into one scary entity. And they blocked out the sun in Russia. What happened was that these thick pillars of insects had been seen flying through Russia's Kamachka region. The pictures were pretty astonishing, and what they seemed to show were these mosquitoes forming a tornado that would swirl just like a real tornado would. This happened in 2020 in the United States, where it resulted in the deaths of hundreds of cattle. To sum things up, so far mosquitoes kill things while they're mating. And they also happen to turn into a tornado while doing so. In addition to the photos, this phenomenon in Russia was caught on video. And it's a fighting scene. People who have been driving on the road at the time said the visibility was non-existent. Some of the mosquitoes had gone far enough to swarm vehicles as well. There may not be a whole lot known about this phenomenon, but one thing's for sure, it's terrifying. <laughs> Mystery of the T-34 Polar Bear It's already amazing to see a polar bear in the wild. They're majestic beasts who don't seem anything like other animals aside from their other bear counterparts. What other animals could you think of that lives on the snow while also dominating the snow? So this is why it was confusing when a bear was spotted with T-34 spray painted on its side. This comes from Russia and was shared on social media. That's where most of the buds came from. And for a while, it left scientists scratching their heads. What was the reasoning behind this bear that was spray painted? The initial rumor had begun circulating that the bear was spray painted to represent a Russian tank. The T-34 tank to be more specific. It was scientists who put the kibosh on the rumor as it was revealed that a few scientists were the ones that spray painted the bear. They needed to represent a certain area in the Arctic. It was a way to see if the bear would be recognized if it ever came back to the area. As it turns out, it's been recognized a lot more than anticipated because now it's known as the T-34 bear. We wonder if it knows how famous it is. 28 million liters of juice. Flash floods can be scary part of mother nature. But now imagine if a flash flood was made of 28 million liters of juice. Better grab your cup for this one. This all comes out of the small town of Lebedzhin, Russia. There's not a lot of news that comes out of this town aside from this. A fruit juice flash flood that lights the world has never seen before. This all occurred on Tuesday, April 25th, 2017, where a warehouse located in town had a roof that suddenly collapsed 
and sent two people to the hospital. In addition to this, around 300 square meters of the factory also failed and this launched 28 million liters of fruit and vegetable juices straight towards the town. Amazingly enough, there were no deaths reported. The flavors to hit the town were a mix of pineapple, tangerine, pomegranate, cherry, and orange. It completely flooded the city, and the videos of it happening did not disappoint as it was a colorful sea of liquid lining the streets. It took a big cleanup and a lot of environmentalists to make sure that things didn't get polluted. After all, that was a whole lot of juice. <coughs> Dr. Chip Have you grown bored with the way you do things around the house? Do you want to find an efficient way to get things done without having to break a sweat? Well, maybe you should follow what the Russian doctor did where he had several chips planted in his hand to make daily tasks easier. The doctor's name is Alexander Volchek. He's a gynecologist right out of Russia. He had the nickname Dr. Chip by the media over in the country because he had tiny chips put under his skin to make his life more efficient. For example, he recently implanted a bank card chip in his arm. This way he could just swipe his palm instead of having to take a card out. You have to admit, it's kind of genius, but unfortunately the chip failed and it failed several times. It's not his only chip though. He started back in 2014 and he has ones that work its intercom cards, a work path, and others. Based on how it's going for him and based on how technology is improving, it seems like he's going to keep on doing this. Maybe one day he'll even be considered a cyborg. Let's just hope he doesn't lose any of those chips while at work. <coughs> legend of Black Volga It's the legend of the Black Volga. It's not every day that we talk about a high-end car that has a legendary status, but today's that day because the Black Volga was a car that was a high-end limousine that had white curtains and beautiful rims and it always looked polished as if it had just come from the showroom. The car wasn't affordable for most people whatsoever because no one knows its origins. It existed primarily in the 1960s and 1970s. The legend goes that the car would appear on the streets out of nowhere, driving from late night to early mornings and would supposedly abduct children and teenagers. This legend eventually spread to other parts of the world like Russia, Poland, Belarus, Ukraine, and Mongolia. There was also a rumor that no one could ever see the driver. Attributes aside, many believed that there was some sort of spirit behind the car. And the reason for all the abductions was, of course, vengeance. It got so outlandish at one point that people even started to believe that a vampire had something to do with it. When it was seen, it was said to have mirrors and horns, which gave off an ominous feel. And if that wasn't spooky enough, any witnesses that usually came forward would wind up dead. So based on that fact right there, we think that we've told you enough. All we'll say is that if you see this car at night, maybe you should go the other way. Shagir Idol We now move on to one of the world's oldest wooden statues. It's said to be even older than Stonehenge itself. To be exact, it might even be twice as old as Stonehenge. It currently sits at 12,500 years old, and it's called the Shigir Idol. People say that it's a miracle that it even still exists. It's a 9-foot-tall totem pole and 10 fragments that are decorated in geometric carvings which impose human faces. It's being said that it's the only surviving Stone Age wooden artifact. Scientists had no idea just how old it was until recently, when research has shown it was way older than they had assumed. It was originally found in a peat bog by gold miners in 1890. No one knew his age until 1997, and this was one of Russian scientists using radiocarbon dating had discovered that it was about 9,500 years old. But today's research shows it's about 3,000 years older than that. This was discovered in 2018 by using more advanced accelerator math technology testing. We're not too sure what that is, but we do know that this artifact is pretty old. So next time you have an antique in your house, just know that it's not as old as 12,000 years old. And if it is, you may want to show it to these scientists. <coughs> Champ spheres, Stonehenge before, which are stones that have left people scratching their heads for decades. And now we move on to something similar. Dubbed monster marbles or footballs of the gods, these stones have been sitting around Champ Island in the Arctic for years. They give off a cosmic landscape feel. They're perfectly round and it's spread all over the island. Sometimes they even look like they're growing out of the ground. These rocks occurred because of melting glaciers exposing the surface of the island. This washed the rocks away in rounded form. This also occurred between high winds, water, and low temperatures. 
This led the stones to take on a look similar to cobblestones. No matter how they got their shape, there's something worth checking out for sure. If we've learned anything today, there's more to Russia than meets the eye. We have our assumptions about the massive land, but now we know there are a lot of things to come out of Russia that prove the world is an astonishing place. What will Russia produce in the next couple of years? All we can do is wait and see.